rock, rock city, bitch, rock, rock city, yeah. bitch, rock. Originally, Grace was talking to this guy, and I was like, why? He's an idiot. Like, I really didn't like him. It would literally sound like you were going to fall through the floor. It'd be like... <laughs> this intersection, and Scooby and the dogs are in the back, and one of the dogs hit, like, the automatic window thing down, and all the windows start going down, and they all try to jump out, and I'm in the middle of the intersection, like, shit, and, like, rolling up the windows and throwing dogs back. It was very entertaining. It was probably, like, top ten scariest moments of my life when all the dogs almost jumped out in the busy intersection. You guys are still being the adult fall. Oh, my God. Okay, so this is where Grace first met me. What's up you guys? Today we are reenacting, or not reenacting, like going back to all the places where we first met at and kind of just reminiscing for a vlog. And the first one we went to is my old apartment. And I feel so weird being here. We're so grown up. I know. Here. This has been like what, three years? This is where our first date happened. Yeah, so I thought it'd be funny if we each told like a story that at like each spot. And so yeah, we're just gonna do that. Although it feels so weird being back here. So Maddie told me she liked me and I came over for my first date here and we ate pizza and drank Powerade and watched 13 Reasons Why. Is someone opening the door behind us? Nope. Oh. Okay, so let's do this little story thing. Okay, so this is my first apartment. I lived in Pittsburgh and then I moved up here. Come here. And then I met Grace. And so my best memory is I was walking up to my apartment one day and I've been talking to Grace and someone else and like I walk in and like the concrete has M plus G written all over it with hearts everywhere and the door has stuff on it, the sidewalk has stuff on it. She literally graced my house. Oh. It's probably the best story I have here mm -hmm. is walking Should into my apartment with someone. In Should we just go peek in the window? Should we peek in the window? We're about to get the cops called off. It feels, it it feels so weird. I don't know, go look. And this is when we get the cops called on us. Is there furniture? Yeah. There's furniture? Yeah. Okay, so there's no one living in here and like it's really weird to see it empty because that's exactly how we left it. It looks like somebody like moved in and then like lived here for a while and their dog chewed up the blinds. Yeah, that's my old house. Let's take you can't really see. It was a cute place. It just she had a couch right by the door over here. It was a cute place, but at the same time, it just wasn't well kept before I got here. So I feel like she never got any warm water. I never had warm water. I was shower. always taking water at the gym, or getting water, or taking, taking a shower at the gym, at or she'd come over to my house and take a shower. Yeah. So there I wasn't any water. that, and then like my neighbors smoked weed all the time. And so it was constantly my house was smelling like weed and I worked in a hospital so that wasn't great. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just imagine walking up to your apartment after talking oh, to someone. Such and, good memories. And there's like they've been graced. Oh my god, that closet was full of so much crap. It feels so weird to be back. I kind of miss this place. I think I miss the memories more because the there was at one point where like the faucet fell off of like remember? I had to start the shower with a screwdriver. Mm -hmm. So it still looks the same. I know. Just Remember standing your here was filled with candle wax. Yeah, just standing here looking out, just like it feels so weird, does it not? There's peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, somebody definitely either just moved in or just is moving out. They probably had the same issue you they did. They had a nice backsplash. My backsplash wasn't like that. Yeah. They probably had the same issue she did that they didn't get any warm water and they didn't get what they were promised. They're so I got Scooby out. here and when Scooby was a little puppy, like the he railings, tore up everything. Well, he tore up that. The railings on the um, stairs, he would run through and then jump and hit the couch. So Okay. Go. I told you coming over the first time meeting you and you had Powder all over. Oh my god. Carpet. The first time Grace came over, I was like, I had the blinds pulled a little bit and I was like, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. And then we drank kinky and watched 13 Trees and Fly and ate pizza. Mm -hmm. 
and she almost made the house go on fire because she put all the plastic silverware in the oven in the pizza box in the oven with it on so and when and we I first remember, started dating the dogs scooby and scout used to run in the yard all the time yeah run out here in the yard and play and fun fact too like the window up there like this place was really like i feel like it wasn't that well kept but I used to have like this tarp over the window so it'd be real dark in there. And I think once I met Grace, I slept here like maybe twice. Mm -hmm. Maybe twice. This feels so weird. You ready to move back? No, not here. <laughs> okay, so the next place we like always came to was the dog park by this my is house. where we had our like second date. No, After okay, we... hold on. So originally Grace was talking to this guy and I was like, why? He's an idiot. Like, I really didn't like him. And I was like, well, come to the dog park and she was trying to make him jealous. So I was like, well, hold my hand and we can make him jealous. And I was like trying to get a feel on her and then she started flirting back and I remember exactly where I was. And then, then I was like, well, let's go to the dog park in general. And we came here and your dog attacked another dog and she threw a dog over the fence and was like, you stay here. Yeah. Okay, so we're at our second place. Well, because someone's living there. Okay, so this was the second place we lived at. This was, here, you hold the camera this time. This was the first place this we got together. This was our first place we got together. And it's a town home. It was cute. And it had a little yard so the dogs could go out back. But it just wasn't ideal. Our neighbors ideal. are still the same. Yeah, still neighbors. Okay. Still the same. They put rocks instead of grass. Yeah. So this is now our... Now it's all rocks. This is our place. Can you see it? Anyway, this, this town is home like, right here. The when I think five, of this, three, four, when seven. I think of this house, I think of like a summer because we had a kick-ass summer here with Corey. We did. Like our best friend moved in this summer or that summer we lived here, and like it was straight partying and dogs and fun and I don't know. It was like just a really good fun summer. Mm -hmm. It looks very different. It does. No, it doesn't. They just put rocks in. Yeah. I think they put rocks in because no one. Well, I guess they have rocks, but. Rock, rock city, bitch, rock, rock city, bitch, yeah. rock. They put a tarp she doesn't down get the, and put rocks. She doesn't get the... Yeah, and our garage door is still dented. Yeah, I think Grace ran into it. Whatever, it was dented when we got it. No, Grace ran into the no, garage. No, I didn't. Don't I, let her fool you. I totally did not. It was dented when we got it. Anyway, so this is it. Literally every single car over here is the exact same car that was here when we lived here. Like, it was. these right here are all the same people. Yes. I mean, it's only been, what, less than a year, so... Yep. So this was our first place together. What's your favorite story? My you know when? Wait, story. when we got this, I hadn't even seen this place. Grace said, "Hey, I put the deposit down on a really cool place. Go check it out." And I was like, "Fuck!" Like I hadn't even seen this mm -hmm. place. And so I came one day after work, and she showed me it. But yeah, she got this place without me even like looking at it. It was good space. We needed it. Yeah, it was nice. We just don't grew it. Yep. We needed a yard for the pups. Mm-hmm. So. And our neighbors used to yell. Oh my god. Oh I was, so my. I worked like evenings at the time. I didn't work overnights. And like I would be asleep in the morning and the woman would be like screaming at her kids. I was like those poor kids but also so they were Catholic. They don't live here they because the, here. Virgin the Virgin Mary statue gone. was they had to a be Virgin right Mary statue there. And they found out we were, what's funny is like our neighbors found out we were gay and they lived on this side of us and this was ours and they had this Virgin Mary statue. And it kept inching closer and closer and closer to our house. And at one point we were gonna put a pride flag on it just to be like. Yeah. Peace. I wonder the the most interesting memory I have of here was the squeaky floor that was in the spare bedroom. Remember you oh, would yeah. step on the air vent? And it would literally sound like you were gonna fall through the floor. It'd be like <laughs> Well, anyways, this is our first place together. So we've grown a lot since then. And it's only been a year, hard to believe. It hasn't even been a year. Yeah, I know. It's a year in November and it's September. Yep. But it does, so. it seems a little weird coming back, but not as weird as like my first place. Yep. Hello, we home. I'm just kidding. They're probably in there like, what the fuck are these kids doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Looking at our patio. Because I redid all the patios so, right before we left. Yeah, right before we left. So we used to tie oh, the dogs, uh, we used to tie the dogs like behind leashes the behind the patios and let them like play. Um, yeah, their patio looks m much nicer than ours. Yeah, their door is open with 
a dog right there. That's it. Yeah, they're like sitting right there. They totally saw us. Let's go. Yeah, their patio looks way nicer than ours ever did. We didn't have anything on our patio. Nope. We still don't have anything on our patio. At this intersection and Scooby and the dogs are in the back and one of the dogs hit like the automatic window thing down and all the windows start going down and they all try to jump out and I'm in the middle of the intersection like shit and like rolling up the windows and throwing dogs back. It was very entertaining. It was probably like top 10 scariest moments of my life when all the dogs almost jumped out in the busy intersection. So this next place on our magical journey is Kansas. So, Kansas. I think it's the first time we hung out. Like, you said we went, no, 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 please. So, like, then. we went out, out. Like, this was the, first, the first place where I invited you. Can you attach the pictures in this, please? Over your face? Anyway, this is the first place we, like, I invited you out, and I didn't know you were interested in girls at the time like I invited her out because I was talking to someone else and I, I and I wanted that I know I wanted like the moral support and can I tell you the story I have about this so, so the first time we went out Nadi wore a dress and flip-flops here and like tons of makeup and Grace basically wore a tank top a green vest and jeans and I'll insert boots. the picture yeah, so I felt totally awkward compared to what she wore. And I was yeah, like, but I had never been to a country bar. Country bar. But I had never been to a country bar. But it's funny because, like, didn't you say that night is when you started, like, liking me? Mm -hmm. You didn't even like girls beforehand. But I had invited her out, and I was like... This, this is a good video I'm, of us singing Backstreet Boys. Yeah, but I was I was talking to someone else, and I needed, like, that friend support, so I invited her, and then she kind of got jealous. But that's, that's how, how it kind of all it. unfolded. Yeah. 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 Kind of, maybe. Well, oh, Hamburger Mary's is a good one, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, this yeah. is Kansas. We can't go in because the doors are locked. But this is where, like, the first time we... It doesn't open until 5. It's yeah. only 3 o'clock in the afternoon. The first one. Out and, and then we went on a date here, I think, mm -hmm. shortly after. Like, we did. Once you after said you that you liked me, me, liked me, we went on a date here and we kissed right out front. She remembers everything. Of course. Let's go. And y'all can just watch. We're live we're... right now as yeah. well. Say yes. hi, everybody. You're on our vlog. They're screaming. Okay, so this was the first place that we went after one of Maddie's talk vlogging? No, after yeah. Zumba. Oh, yeah, after we Zumba. went after Zumba. And then um, after Zumba, we came here because we wanted water and we were just like goofing around. This was like before we started dating, too. Like way before. Yes. This was like, I knew Grace for a week and we're hanging out all the time. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we had this like monkey we found <laughs> and I stuck the monkey like right here. No, you had it like this. There, there you go. She had it I'll insert the, other the way. picture. Insert or, the picture. Over Grace's face. But. Oh god, they caught us and they're looking at us. And we had a monkey. Mm -hmm. This was like, I knew Grace for like four or five days and we were hanging out. It was out. right before Easter. Yeah, way before. Yeah. We didn't And Maddie kiss. has a cute little ponytail in the picture and her hair is blonde on the ends. Yeah. We didn't kiss until after St. Pat's. Mm -hmm. So just like a timeline of when everything mm -hmm. happened. This is before then. Yeah. Okay. So, so this is where... Here, come here. here. <laughs> one, four, one, four. This is the place where I first met Grace. This was her mm -hmm. first apartment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't even remember. She lives, lives there. Now. Yeah, someone lives in there. I'm like, they lived in art, mine. <laughs> but my favorite story in here. What's your favorite story? My favorite story is probably the first time I came over. I was so nervous, and we just laid on the couch and we cuddled and watched movies. And oh, I have favorites, but they're probably not for the camera. Oh my god, shut up. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first time like I had come over and like I, we cuddled and I spent the night and it was literally like my favorite night ever. Because mm -hmm. it was like, you know when you start dating someone it's exciting? Mm -hmm. It was just kind of the first. And yeah, you would come over on my couch and you would tell me how my house was perfectly decorated. It because was. Because my mom decorated it for me. It was. And then we used to take the dogs out over here. Oh, we're still going live. Show everybody. Yeah. Yeah, this is where we took the dogs out. Oh my gosh, let's go see the backyard. You guys are still being the adult thaw. Oh my god. Yeah, so this is it. This is. And that was it's my crazy. patio right there. Okay, so what's your you favorite? You guys can see what's it. Your favorite the first story? one right there. What's your favorite story? Um. 
you coming over and just bringing me food and um, cut and like staying with me and I don't know. There's just lots of. I don't know. This was like the first the place dogs. we really stayed oh, together. Oh, when you when you moved in with me and you brought your whole freaking petting farm. Oh, we moved in for. Petting zoo we lived in this over. apartment together for like a month. One before bedroom. we got our, our place. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it was fun. Oh, and you collapsed in the shower. Oh, I did. Here, <laughs> and I about had to call EMS. I have heart problems, and yeah, I we took a hot. I took a hot shower, and it was so hot. I. Because she didn't have any hot water at her house. So yeah, I didn't have any hot water. she over and take a shower over here. And then she'd take an overly hot shower and she passed out in the shower. And I had yeah. to like sit there with fans while she was There naked. was actually a lot of times where I got sick here. Yeah. Like, there were like three or four times where I, like when they, before they got my medicine like adjusted. Mm -hmm. or I was on the floor and she had to. Remember when your car, your yellow car oh, was yeah. towed to the parking lot you, out there? My car and, sat out there for months. And then you got a ticket on it saying they were going to tow it because yeah. it would stay there for <laughs> so long because the two tires were slashed. Yeah. So. I love you. This was our first like place where we lived together for like a week. Yeah. And she basically lived at my house because my place is nicer, better than her yeah, first Yeah, well, apartment. my place was expensive. I played like $300 mm -hmm. more a month than her. Yep. But my place And we're still live like, vlogging, so say hi to everybody hey. on the live vlog. But my place wasn't as nice. It was just in a better kind of location at the time. Mine was Which right now, next to Lifetime. Is, I know, but looking back now. It was the best location ever. Way better. Lifetime's over there where we go to the gym all the time. And then yeah, it's lots stuff. of restaurants and everything. Yeah. So, yep. This was my first apartment. Okay, so this is where Grace first met me. Okay, so this is where Grace and I first met. Well, I met Grace. She apparently knew I existed before this, mm -hmm. but um, this is where I met her, and then I started doing started videos talking. for the grind and pictures, and the grind was like a, a small gym where it had dance classes. So anyway, um, this is where we met, and we started talking, and I added her on Facebook, and then I realized we liked similarity, like similar things, so when I would come, I'd try to talk to her. And then um, she kind of joined my group of friends, and then from there it kind of just went. And then the yeah. first time we like it clicked, we were here at a St. Pat's Day uh, dance. dance. She had talked to me kind of like the night before, and then they invited me to go to Hamburger Mary's yeah. that night after, or the night after. You invited me to go to St. Louis with you guys. That's oh yeah, what it was. that's what it was. And we actually never went to St. Louis. But anyway, long story short, after this, she was like, do you want to go to Catholic group in the morning with me? So we got kind of drunk here, went to Catholic group, and that was at the coffee shop that we talk about all the time. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, so this is like where I met you. Yes. So. You met me and we talked out in the parking lot and then we became really close here. And this is where I had my daily or with, twice a week we were here for Zumba. Yeah. So this is where Maddie and I's relationship basically began, was here. Yeah. Besides her house and my house, this is where we hung out. Yeah, this is where this is where I legit met you. Mm-hmm. Wow. So. Love you. Love you. So yeah. All right, we have, okay, so the last place we have, we're gonna do more in there. Whoop, there we go. But it's Worlds of Fun, and it's actually where we had our first date. Actually. So this is actually where we had our first date ever. We literally took our first picture here. Whoa. <laughs> it was almost stripped. Yeah, but this is where it all began. And it's funny because like I had always wanted a Worlds of Fun Pass and I could never find someone that wanted it. And we were We've texting. Had one for three years yeah. now. And we were texting and I was like, hey, this is happening. Do you want one? And then literally, I think we kissed and we watched 13 Reasons Why. And then we came here either the next day or the day after. I think a couple days after because you were like, hey, let's get Worlds of Fun Pass. Oh, yeah. We got it when, like, we came, like, the first week that they yeah. opened. So it was like we kissed. Before we even went out, we kissed. And then we came here for our first date. Mm -hmm. And, like, I remember wanting to kiss you the whole day. She and you were just nervous. talking about this. But I was so yeah. scared to do it in public because, like, you know. The stigma. The stigma. And so we got in the car and we kissed. But I remember being like, oh, my God, I wanted to do this all day. Yes. So that that's our story. Yeah. 